chicken noodle soup and as you can see I've got uh, a chicken poaching I just put the chicken in a pot of water with some celery and carrots some uh, lemon and in this little ball here I've got rosemary and thyme and a little bit of salt and so we're gonna let that go until it's done and then we're gonna start the rest of the process hey guys I'm gonna show you how to cut up your celery and carrots I have peeled my carrots washed my celery and I use this bowl here for scraps so we're gonna start with the celery it's fairly easy and if you have these things on them you don't have to cut them off they're just fine so you cut the celery once down the middle don't do all of them at once just do a few at a time that's why it's, they're easier to cut that way I mean you can do them all at once it's just easier this way so you just want to cut little little tiny slices and I know I do not hold my fingers right and I'm gonna cut them off one day but for now this is what we're gonna do my little scoop. Hang on. Gotta get it out of the dishwasher. Alright. These are very, very handy. You just scoop it up. Put it in the bowl. Alright. That's the celery. The carrots are very similar. Cut the end off after you've peeled them. Find a bunch that are similar in size. First you want to cut them down the middle. Now here, it's going to be hard to get a half off, so I'm only going to cut part of it down the middle. See how it is, like that. Even them up. Let's see. dices there. Some of them may end up just a tad bit bigger so you want to go ahead and just cut them. That way they cook all the same. So some aren't more done than others. break from doing this earlier because apparently the hamster's missing. Don't know what happened to it. The uh, cage was all sealed up tight. Doors are shut and everything but somehow he got out. Wish I had milk and all I got water and a couple of dimes and a silver half dollar. Steal from Paul about to check to Peter. I got a parking ticket so I took the parking meter. I'm broke.
With the rosemary, you can just take it by the top and pull most of the leaves off in one little swipe. You just take it like this, put your fingers about here, and whoop, pull. a lot of rosemary. It has a very good flavor. Now we've got some thyme. These don't pull off quite like the rosemary does. That means he's probably still in the boys' room. I had to go see my neurosurgeon this morning. And, I mean, I don't know how to feel about it. Because I go from one scary thing to another scary thing. So, most I can do is wait for a referral to yet another specialist. And uh, as far as my back goes, he said there's not a whole lot we can do at this point because it's not bad enough for surgery. And surgery didn't help my other one, my L5S1. So, for now, he said we're going to try a rhizotomy, which will burn the nerves off in the back. And uh, pain medication, of course. So when I go to see Dr. Christie again, um, let's see, I see him in May. Then I get to talk to him about a rhizotomy then. So hopefully we can get something done to where I feel better. Because this is just the pits. Right now, I just feel like going and sitting down and giving up for the rest of the day. But I can't because there's way too much to do. And then when I push myself hard, then that's when I really start hurting. Hi, Nicholas. Hi. Some of the time in my thing is not good because it uh, I got it on clearance. It was marked down, half off. That's usually how I buy my herbs and spices. Because I use them enough. I mean, I can usually use them before they go bad, even though they're marked down. So that's what I do. tedious. And I guess you don't have to take the time off their stems, but I don't like the stems. Are we fighting? Well, Nicholas took my lip balm and my eraser for school. Oh my god. To go tell them I said to give them back. And the kids are fighting. As usual. 
Oh, I hear Anna's cockatiel in there yelling, oh pretty bird, oh pretty bird. She forgot to uncover him this morning, so he didn't, he didn't get uncovered until she got home from school. I tried to do it, but... It caught, and I just couldn't pull it off. She's got the cage up high. I guess that's enough. I'll do this and that's it. to get my knife sharpened. It is not very sharp at all. Probably from rubbing against this granite. This cutting board is a granite one from Aaron Sanchez. I really like him. So I saw this granite, oh dear, I saw the granite for super cheap at TJ Maxx, so I picked it up. Yes. Nicholas, in your room and clean. Aaron, do your homework. Oh my god! I'm trying to cook! Okay. Not you, I'm talking to them! Who wants to be grounded? She goes to church on Sundays Sometimes at night she likes to sing the blues But yeah, to just get the jackets off the garlic, you just hit them just like I did with the knife. Don't hit them too hard where you're going to smash them. But enough to just get the jackets off. Well, I never kissed a girl till I went to college. She got drunk and cheated on me. And I never kissed a boy till I went to prison. Murder in the first degree. That's that. I'm going to put this through a press because I don't want to. I really, really don't want to chop this all up my hand. I could, but I don't want to. Alright, so that is that. I'm going to make the chicken noodle soup. I realize I don't have noodles, and I really don't feel like making noodles. So what I'm going to do is cut the spaghetti into thirds. That way it's going to be a little bit of a noodle, but it won't be huge like spaghetti. So that is that, and I will see you in a little bit. All right, we are ready to start the uh, base of the soup. Gosh, and it's already 4.30. I don't know if I'm going to get this done in time. All right, so I'm on medium, medium, high heat, and I'm going to take my olive oil that I use for absolutely everything. And I am going to generously coat the bottom of this. Yeah, it may look like more than what I'm doing because it comes out kind of slow. Alright, so we've got a generous coat on the bottom of that. And now we're going to throw in the veg. These are the carrots and celery that I did earlier. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to do an onion. 
hang on a minute and we are going to get an onion in there. Probably two onions because I am really big on onions. So be right back. All right, so I made a mistake and I um, didn't get my onion done. Okay, so first thing you do to uh, cut an onion, let me put this garlic away. Cut it right here at the top end, not the bottom. Turn it over to the bottom, cut it in half, and then you peel off. You peel off the uh, skin there. Okay. Doesn't matter if a little bit of like herbs get on it because they're just gonna go in the same thing, right? So pull off the outer layer. I'm gonna do two onions. Personally, I would do three, but not everybody in this house likes onions. I love onions. I could like eat them all the time. Roasted, some balsamic. Sounds very, very good. Okay. So let's get the skin off. Now, some people will slice it through here first. I don't always do that. I just go straight for these cuts right here. And then go a long ways and they're gonna come out already diced. Look how simple that was. Look at those diced onions. Okay. And across once, widthwise, and lengthwise. Whoops. Did you find him? Okay. These ones aren't as big as this other one was, so I'm not even going to go down the center of it. I'm just going to go straight for the width wide cut. And length. Me. All right. Get all the root ends out. Grab my bowl. Got a little time mixed in with the onion, but that's okay because it's all going to end up the same way anyway. All right. So. There's the chicken draining, cooling off. Okay, so onions into the pan. We're gonna give them a very, very generous sprinkling of salt. Now remember, if you are worried about your salt intake, we're doing everything here from scratch, so nothing has been preserved. There's no salt in anything else at all. So this is actually less salt than you would get buying store-bought chicken noodle soup, even though I put three nice big sprinkles of it. Okay, mix it all up. 
We are going to add more oil. Don't think I got enough. See, when I bought this, this is my Le Creuset. I bought a six and three quarter quart oval. And when I bought it, everyone's telling me, oh, that's gonna be plenty, plenty, plenty. Oh my gosh, now I am wishing I would have bought the nine quart because I am constantly, constantly filling it up to the tip top. But it's all good. This thing is going to last a lifetime. It is one of the better purchases I've ever made. Okay, so we're going to let this saute. Get a good caramelization on it. Get good flavors coming out of it. We're building flavors this way. So I'm going to let that cook down a little bit. And I'll be back in a while. So I had to enlist Annabelle's help to do the spaghetti. Like I said earlier, I forgot that I didn't have noodles and I don't feel like making any. So what we did, we took the spaghetti. She held one part of it, I held one part of it so they didn't go flying. And we cut each of them into thirds. So now we have little spaghettis. And we just used regular scissors for that. So here is our chicken stock that we're going to use for the soup. I took the veggies that I cut up, the end pieces and stuff, out to the garden so that they can compost. And this is what I used to debone the chicken, which is now all cut up nicely. And I saved a chicken leg quarter and two wings covered in barbecue sauce so Mike can take them to lunch some, for, for lunch sometime this week. So that is that. We are still waiting on the veggies to finish sauteing. So we are getting there. All right, the veg I think is done. So we take a little taste test. Oh, that is one good carrot, I tell you. It is amazing what kind of flavor can come out when you just do that. You saute it really slow with some olive oil and salt. Get a nice caramelization going. Look at that celery and onion. Okay, so now I don't know how I'm gonna do this with one hand, but we're gonna try. We got garlic. You don't want to put the garlic in at the beginning because it will turn a little better. So it'll burn really easy. Now if you want to cook garlic for a while, for a long time, the best way to do it is putting it in um, an aluminum foil packet with some olive oil and let it roast for a while until it becomes real soft and squishy and it turns out so good. Okay, there's that. Herbs, our rosemary and thyme that we cut, cut up earlier. Let that cook for a minute. Ladies, you're going to love what's coming up next. Now, we are going to deglaze the pan with wine. Woohoo! I'm using a Chardonnay. You don't have to use expensive wine. Um, it's best to stay away from cooking wine because it has a lot more salt in it. So we're just going to get about a cup or so. Let that cook out a little bit. skimmed off most of the fat from the uh, stock here. There's still a little bit in there. And we're going to use this next. We're almost there. Do you see what looked like um, a little burnt stuff at the bottom from the veg? The deglazing gets all that up. That is some tasty stuff there. 
and then it adds it to the sauce. Okay, the wine is almost reduced enough. I can smell it. I wish you guys could because it smells good. Chicken. What, honey? Good, hurry up and get it done before Dad gets home. It's already 5.30. Get some of that seasoning on that chicken. I have got the broth in and it is starting to bubble. It's boiling. I added some salt and smokehouse pepper to the broth. And now we're gonna put our broken up spaghetti in it. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay. Oop, missed two little spaghettis. Boop, boop. Okay, now we're just gotta wait for that to that pasta to cook and then we have one more step and it's gonna be a good one so I'm gonna let this cook and I'll be back all right I kind of had to rig my camera up so I hope that it stays long enough to do this okay we're putting our finishing touches on the soup We've got lemon. That brightens it up. Okay. Stir that up a little bit. Heavy cream. I use about half of that. That's what makes the good stuff there. Whoops. And we finish it off with some nutmeg. <gasps> I dropped the whole thing. Ooh, that's hot. That's hot, hot, hot. Well, there you go. That is my chicken noodle soup. This is my chicken noodle soup. It is very delicious. I wish you could taste it. It is full of yummy vegetables, lots of chicken, and uh, our spaghetti. I should have cut the spaghetti up in fourths instead of thirds, but my back is killing me from doing this, so I am going to go sit down and relax for the rest of the night. Shut off my power in the dead of winter Cause I was two months late on my bill Pipes have all frozen and things proof by now by morning I'm sure that they will I'm holding on to a scented candle It's my only source of heat and light I'm too poor to pay them That's what I told them And I guess it's gonna be a mighty cold one tonight